There are a lot of D-Day maps out there for Ravenfield, but none, none quite like this one. Obviously, we've got the Germans defending, and they have a beautiful defense network of trenches and heavy bunkers. But the Allies... Well, the Allies got their barrage balloons, their LSTs, which is landing ship tanks, and a whole slew of Higgins boats. Now, these things are crewed up and automatically sent in. Oh, and you see this big bad boy? That thing looks big enough to deliver tanks, right? So maybe it's gonna deliver tanks to the beach. All the while, we've got aerial duels between German Messerschmitt 109s, and you can see like the little town, the objective here in the back that we're gonna try to get to because it's not just about taking the beach, but the reason for taking the beach, and that is getting a foothold in Europe for the Allied powers. So as the troops start to hit the beaches and the machine guns open up from the heavy bunkers and Shermans are hand delivered to the beaches, you gotta ask yourself what would make it cooler. Oh yeah, this. D-Day wasn't only about an amphibious invasion. It was also about airborne. We're gonna have paratroopers landing at the same time as the troops are hitting the beaches down there on Normandy. Check this out. On the map, you can see the two big transport planes. So do you wanna hit the beaches? I mean, that sounds like you're on vacation. You wanna, you wanna attack the beaches? Or do you wanna be a paratrooper that's just like launched out of a plane and oh yeah, you're gonna get shot at on your way down, but don't worry, dudes. You gotta take the objective. And the Germans down here, oh, they've got tanks, anti-aircraft batteries, half tracks, and whole slews of MG42 machine guns. Look at that. But don't worry, you're not gonna be left completely off on your own. You've got some medium bombers here, which you're gonna need because the Germans have an airfield. And they have medium bombers. You see this? That is the Schnell Bomber, the Junkers 88. So as the paratroopers hit the, well, I was about to say hit the beach, but they don't really hit the beach. No. How are the Americans doing? Uh, you know what? They're actually making some progress. But the only thing better than watching the battle is, well, taking part in it. So I want to join the Airborne. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, are we going to die? Okay, this is kind of crazy. So there's basically three things you can enjoy in this you can be an American paratrooper, you can be an American infantryman who's hitting the beach, or you can be one of the Germans defending anywhere. The airfield, the town, the beaches. So according to the minimap, the amphibious invasion has started. Fighter aircraft and bomber aircraft are flying over. I think a bomber just got shot down. And we are just getting airborne. Excuse me, sir. You have no eyes. Oh, I was gonna say, I really wish we had a window right now. So the cool thing about this is like, I'm pretty certain that it's just gonna automatically kick me out of the plane. And then I'm just gonna have to pop my parachute. But this has to be the most comprehensive and detailed D-Day Operation Overlord Normandy amphibious invasion map I've ever seen. Is it Omaha or Normandy or? All right, I'm starting to see some, uh, the town. That's the town we've got to take. Luckily we caught the Germans, Hans and Fritz with their pants down. All right, boys, are we, are we out yet? Where's everybody going? Okay, I have to jump out myself. All right, uh, we're starting to take some fire. I've got me a Tommy gun here. Oh my gosh, the reload animation is incredible. I literally pull out the stick mag and hit it on my head to make sure the bullets are like adjusted properly. That is awesome. Okay, so we take this little like peripheral outpost and the 101st airborne is moving in. Is that a, is it, was that a grenade? I didn't see an explosive, so I guess not. All right, boys, uh, let's slowly but surely move into town here. Oh my gosh, across this field, we got these big hay bales. Uh, that is an allied bomber up ahead. Okay, I was a little bit worried because if that JU-88 comes out and starts bombing us, that would be, ahem, <laughs> Bad. Oh, there's a few Germans out in the field here. Uh, yeah, they're definitely trying to figure out what's going on. Oh, here's the little trenches. Oh, God. Oh, more Germans. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine if this was multiplayer? All right, so obviously there's flamethrowers. I didn't, like, I basically just followed, like, any and all World War II weapons. Now, the Americans should have American weapons. The Germans should have German weapons. Oh, my gosh. This is, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. We need more troops. What are you doing? What is that? Is that some kind of a sound suppression device? Like World War II tech? We've got guys with like rifle grenades, so I've gotta be very careful who I stand in front of. 
Because it won't just be a bullet that hits me. Okay, there are just tons and tons of them over there. Oh my god, they're hitting us with flames. And then I got hit by a dude with an FG-42, which is like their paratrooper weapon. So, like, look at the weapons that I have at my disposal. So, if we go over here to the United States Army, we've got, like, the Show Show 1918. I'm pretty sure that's French, but hey, we have it. We could use an M1 carbine with a grenade launcher. Unfortunately, we don't have an M1 Garand, or excuse me, a Tommy gun with a drum mag, but we could use a BAR. That thing's gonna kick. I've got a grease gun as my secondary, and I've got satchel charges as my primary. So, I want to deploy from the amphibious invasion from the beginning, now that I kind of have an idea of what's going on. And some of you may be wondering, like, what's with that red text right there? Oh god. No! I need a spot! Well, this is actually sort of working. <laughs> Yeah, but that red text up in the upper left, it, it's like a, a developer issue right now. Now, as you know, Ravenfield is made by Steel Raven. It's a single dev, and it's been updated for so long, and that's honestly one of probably the first, like, issues I've ever seen. We're on the beta branch, though, so you gotta bear that in mind. But look at that. You see the fleet behind you. The Higgins boats attacking. There's some over there on the flanks. There goes the fighter escort. There's the bomber. And shortly after, we're going to see the paratrooping planes. But I wanted to see what it's like to be one of the boots hitting the beach. Because remember, if you want to take ground, you got to get... Well, if you want to take a country, you got to get boots on the ground. Or so they say. All right, the transport planes, we should... Okay, you can kind of see their shadows taking off right now. So the coordination of this attack is pretty awesome. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What was that? Jeez. Billy. What happened to your face? Okay, Billy's dead. We got hit by like a Panzer Shrek or something. I do not like this. I do not like this at all. Bangalores! Get the Bangalores! You ever seen Saving Bright Ryan? I'll just mag dump a 20 rounds of 30 odd six further down range. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna move up on the left flank with this squad. Where's Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks, we gotta find Matt Damon. Let's do this. All right, do I have a bazooka? No, I have satchel charges. Oh, there we go. Dude, this thing kicks like a mule. Man, I keep thinking I have a bazooka. There we go. We took out the machine gunner in that bunker. So we've taken... Oh, almost. Hold on. Throw the satchel charge in. Get out of there. <laughs> it's gonna blow. It's 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 gonna blow, right? Satchel... <laughs> there we go. Okay, now where do I have to respawn? We don't have the beach yet, so I think I have to respawn on the ships. Now that Sherman tank over there on the beach is just calling my name. So I guess it would be like... Oh, here's the grease gun. Ta 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 ta. Whoa, are those mustard gas grenades? That's against the Geneva Convention. Yeah, so I'm like, I got the 30 out six, so I guess I'm like Vin Diesel's character in Saving Private Ryan right now. Oh, you better not take my Sherman. What was that? Now, oh man, this thing has a a really juicy 50 cal on it, so I'm gonna need myself a squad teammate to man that thing. Look at this guy. Ta 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 ta. -ta. Heck yeah, boy. Look at this aiming sight, man. This is good. All right, so rearm the 75. That's a German. Ha ha ha! You don't need that machine gun, buddy. I'm not your buddy, pal. I'm not your pal, friend. I'm the Americans, and we're gonna liberate you. Storms and beaches. Now, hopefully, oh God, we're, our health is real low. I don't know if that was me. I got my coaxial machine gun right here. Uh-oh, get out of the thing. It's on fire. Get over the thing. Get in the house. I need cover. I need cover. Ooh, we just made it. Okay, drop the meds. Well, the tank got us up here, but I don't know what to do now. Other than, you know, fight the enemy. Oh, shoot. I lost my teammate. That guy didn't have a Q. <laughs> oh, man. Spooner? What a name. Okay. So, the paratroopers have taken this. Now, the one thing I'm not certain about is if I want to take part... Yeah. Okay, so you can spawn at the airfield and at the beginning you can be one of the paratroopers But if you spawn in late, well you get this beauty the p51 Mustang. Oh my god Sound effects are incredible. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Uh, this plane is not flying like it normally does. I swear I know what I'm doing He has no idea what he's doing right now. I did they reset my control scheme? Oh, man, I have a real bad feeling about this. But can I still shoot this thing down, even though I can't fly for crap? I think the answer is yes. This is very difficult. Oh, he's dropping bombs, and he's out. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, so you can fly the planes, but the beta is having all kinds of issues right now. And this is what the beach looks like if, I don't know, you're trying to parachute right overhead. Are those Germans below me? I think those are German. Because the Americans hold that, and they're shooting at this. So hold on. These guys are German. Those are the bomber, pilot, and co-pilot right there. <laughs> The aerial duel continues on the ground. <laughs> oh shoot! Okay, that way—that's a—that might be a friendly fire incident. I'm gonna have to write you up, soldier. Are you all right? Looks like you broke your neck, man. Yeah, you broke your neck real good. Wait a minute, hold on. They're retaking this? Oh, that's because they brought up a half track. We gotta get to these trenches, boys. Oh! I wanted to get a closer look. <laughs> that's it. Hans is running around with a Panzer track, man. Yeah, there's the half track. Okay, so the Germans have retaken the beach. We've got P-51s, and then here comes our medium bomber. Please, oh, he just got shot down. There's the pilot and co-pilot. Oh my god, the po the pilot just got rammed by a BF-109, and he is dead. Oh god. Oh no. Ooh. That is brutal. Guys, war. War as heck, all right? So if we respawn back on the ship, we actually get the beach spawn. That's super interesting because I'm trying to spawn. Is there a Sherman to use? Oh no, we lost the tank. Uh-oh. So this is a Higgins boat. And next to it, I guess, is an LST, landing ship tank. Although this one's a little bit like that's. Oh, ow, 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 stop it. Oh God, they retook the bunkers. I want to get on this ship and investigate it. Oh, -hoo! clip. Where, where even are you? You're hiding. That's against the Geneva Convention. You can't hide like that. All right, we're getting our butts kicked. And our tank is interior right now. So if I spawn in as a paratrooper, I think the... Oh, that's cool. Oh, man, they got the anti-aircraft guns back up. Uh, the issue is that nobody else is spawning in properly right now. So we've done almost all of it. But there's still one thing left to do. And that is to play as the Germans. Now, before we play as the Germans, well, we got to have German weaponry now it looks like oh man fg42 scoped that's just juicy i, I gotta say a yes a big yes to that yeah the wehrmacht yeah okay so yeah we need a mauser even though the luga is just classic we use a mauser and then as our oh my gosh we've got the fliegerflasty this thing is insane we're gonna use it look at all these like this is how deep this goes man there are so many crazy weapons, and we're going to spawn on the beach because we want to repel the amphibious landing craft. Hans, get to the bunker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine, 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 nine. There we go. We did it. All right. Higgins boat landing. Most of them. I don't know if that has any tr troops in it even, actually. Oh, this just... This is juicy. You know that scene in Sam Private Ryan, like when the guy, like you see the view from right behind the machine gun and the guys are getting out of the boat and they're just spraying them. That's what we are going to try to do right here. Now, I don't know if this is advisable. Oh God. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. This thing's amazing. All right. Get them MG ready. Oh man. So we're at zero kills by the way, obviously, because war just started. Yeah. Now, I mean, I'm getting them, I'm getting headshots even before they open that door, man. Oh, I think I just wiped a whole boat, but there's more boats. Wipe the other boat. Oh, they all got out and I overheated my barrels. Oh man, they're hitting me with bazookas. It's almost like this is kind of hard. If one of those bazookas or explosive rounds get in here, I'm screwed, man. I wonder what it was like to be the guy. You know what? Hold on. Get off my beach, kids. Wait a minute. Are we not reloaded? We're not reloaded. Fritz, where are you going? Oh my god, Fritz is bravely running away. <laughs> Whoops! That was a uh, an error in judgment. Alright, well, uh, you know, wait a minute. Why am I spawning back? Oh, okay. Wait a minute. According to my intel, there is a tank that I can use right up here. Oh god. Wait, I got him right in the blueberry butt. Right in the armpits. Okay, the Americans are here. Where's the... the tank is on the map. I'm on top of it. Do we have a secret bunker complex? That would be pretty cool. I guess we got the Kugel wagon here. Yeah, we need the little wagon. I want the other seat. I want the cool one. Oh, we're facing the wrong way. Hello, who would like to go on a ride to the beach? Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Drop the meds. Take the, 
take the machine gun. What is this, MG-34? All right, retake the beach. Eagle has lost a full battalion. Uh, we have not lost a full battalion. It's almost like it's easier to defend a beach. God, I love the sound of this FG-42. It's incredible. All right, I want to see this thing. <laughs> this is amazing. Now, this was apparently designed to shoot down planes, I guess? Yeah! I'm gonna get the uh, the German Medal of Honor, the Iron Cross, for defending this beach until my barrel overheats and some sniper tags me. So we're at what? 26 kills right now. Defend the beaches at all costs! Ow! Ow! Is this health too? <gasps> this box is health too. Get them, boys! Oh man, there's too many of them. There's too many of them, but I got a scope. This gun's unfair. Seems like two bursts and I get hits. However,. The balancing factor is we have a magazine size of the Browning Automatic Rifles, which is only 20 rounds. And it seems like we gotta, like, two burst it, right? So we only get about, like, I don't know, four to five bursts. Hold the bunkers! Do it! Get to the chopper! Oh, this is a cool little bunker. There's their tank. Now, hey, sir, please, can't you see I'm trying to defend this beach? That guy hits me with a ma light machine gun. All right, now... If we spawn back near the airfield... Oh, man, there's the Schnellbomber. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice little hangar complex. We got, like, the little barracks, the command tower. We got a little rear machine gun on the Ju-88. Yeah, we are going very schnell, Abner Schnell. All right, leveling this puppy out. Is this flying normally, actually? All right, who holds that beach? We hold the beach. Ah! That's not how we want to do it. Oh! <laughs> Pull up. Okay. I've my key bindings are all off and I can't reset them. So I'm like flying like an idiot right now. It's kind of fun though. Except it's just not very useful. But what I wanted to do. Hello there. Can I fire this? Oh, I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. They're all just hanging out there, which I guess is like the one little issue I think in this map that needs to be worked out. And there is uh, Ravenfield physics for you. Totally accurate physics right there. But this just has to be one of the best Overlord maps I've seen in Ravenfield and honestly in video games. Like it shows just the wild sandbox potential that is Ravenfield and it just makes you wonder, man, I wish this was multiplayer because imagine doing this where like each of us has our own Higgins boats with like AI soldiers and we're storming the beach or you're defending it and I'm attacking it. Oh, the possibilities, man. But having like aerial dog fights happening overhead while you're trying to defend these strategic objectives as the Germans are trying to attack them as the Americans and you've got access to like this huge invasion force or the transport planes that are, yeah, coming from England. Yeah, that's the English channel right there. So that is England. Now, obviously it's not to scale, but still, this is awesome. Paratroopers, beach attacks. We got it all on this Overlord map. And if you just search the workshop for Overlord, you're gonna find it. It's made by Sofa, the man who's made so many incredible maps. And this is like all of the weapons is from a ton. Oh, look at that. Messerschmitt just crashing to the ground. So anyway, guys, if you did enjoy the video, pull the trigger on that like button. And if you do want to see more Ravenfield, well, let me know. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. I got to go find Matt Damon.